Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video in our city zoo. This is in the land of the cold, and if you haven't seen it yet, the previous episode was the polar bear habitat. We split the video up in two episodes because it was way too much footage. Definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. The polar bear is the very first animal we have in our land of the cold area in our city zoo. So I'm really excited uh, how that one has turned out and really looking forward to hear your comments and reactions on that huge polar bear habitat with underwater viewings and, and it's just really awesome. So definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. And in this episode, we're going to build the American bison habitat and after that, the Arctic wolf habitat. But first, we're building on the American bison habitat, which is going to be a more simple habitat because, well, yeah, let's be honest, if you look at pictures from the American bison, they just have a very plain habitat in most of the zoos I have seen at least. Like, it's nothing really spectacular. But then again, I really wanted to add them into our zoo because they're just beautiful animals, like really, really incredible creatures to see. So I'm really happy that we have them right now in our city zoo. I don't think I ever built a sandbox habitat earlier for them. Not even sure if I added them at all previously. I can't remember that I added them in my franchise series either. I'm not really sure. I don't think so. But anyway, so, so a simple habitat is going to be covered with a lot of snow. And as you can see, I really want to have this area for the land of the cold more thematic. So so we also have a lot of fake rocks, it should be of course in a zoo, so these are all fake rocks to resemble, uh, yeah, some kind of mountains and, and just a natural feeling. And I'm going to give them a very simple round shelter for them to, uh, yeah, to rest a little bit. But obviously the American bison really loves the cold and stuff. So it's probably more going to be used once it's like super warm and sunny in the area. Although I do have to say it's 26 degrees if I look at the footage right now. So yeah, they probably don't really mind. So I was trying to do the roof and as always when I start out a roof like this I'm like oh what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong why is not working <laughs> But yeah, I always keep forgetting that if you want to do a round roof, you just have to do it with like a single plank piece to be able to rotate it and make it look very nice and smooth, especially if it's like a small building. If you're going for a bigger building, then you probably can get away with like the normal roofs and stuff. But yeah, <laughs> it was actually a little bit like blacking out like, wait, how do I do this again? So that was quite funny. Uh, but yeah, it's just a very simple shelter and uh, the bisons are able to use it. So that is really nice. And we just add a few trees, also more of the dead trees around the whole area to, to get a nice little vibe going on in the habitat and the surroundings. So the backside of this habitat hasn't been really decorated yet. There will be another animal added in this area and that will be the reindeer. So that one will be coming at the backside of the American bison habitat. So that's why I didn't do too much yet on the backside of this habitat, just to be sure that I had enough space to add another animal. We might also going to add a facility building there for the staff, so with a staff room and a keeper hut and those kind of things. And I'm actually also thinking to maybe somewhere squeeze in a restaurant in this land of the cold area. I think that will be nice, but we're also going to add the doll sheep in a later stage in this area. And also, now that I talk about the doll sheep, I remember asking you guys, like, what kind of animals shall we add more? Because I do feel that I have enough space to add some more animals in our land of the cold area. And you guys all mentioned the snow leopard. So definitely the snow leopard. And if I have some more room, I will also add the Japanese macaque in this area. So I think that's going to be awesome. I know a lot of you guys are a huge fan of the snow leopards. So yeah, I'm really excited to start building for that. And I remember that I said, and I think you guys also remember it, that I wanted to use the Jacksonville Zoo, like the Bengal tiger habitat as inspiration. 
And somehow I feel that we could maybe use that habitat as inspiration for the snow leopard. So in a snow biome, which is completely different than the Jacksonville Zoo, I think that's an Asian themed habitat. But I'm, I'm looking forward to hear if you guys like that idea. So instead, we're going to use that for the Bengal tiger. We're going to use that for a snow leopard habitat. I think that could be really cool with like the overpass and stuff. So definitely do let me know in the comment sections if you like that idea. This is definitely something that just pops in my mind while I'm recording this video. Uh, but yeah, I'm just really curious if you guys like that idea. So next to this, we also start building a little bit of an entrance area for the land of the coal with a simple sign with the in-game letters. I, I know that a lot of people are not really a fan of the letters, but I honestly do really like the font, but that's obviously personal. So yeah, I used that to create a sign for the entrance of the land of the cold and obviously just using a lot of the tundra and taiga biome trees and stuff to really decorate it and a lot of rocks and, and still make it look a little bit barren at some point. I really tried to achieve a different landscaping in this land of the cold area. So I really hope you guys will like that. So after this entrance area, we move over to the Arctic Wolf Habitat and the start of the Arctic Wolf Habitat we actually did during a live stream. I think it was a week, a week or two ago when you're watching this video. And uh, so we didn't do too much during the live stream. So a lot of it I did <laughs> by myself <laughs> without, uh, without being live. It's also a pretty plain habitat. I actually first thought that it would be even too small, but it turns out it's actually uh, completely big enough for two adult Arctic wolves. Uh, but it does have more of elevation, so more of the feeling that you're like looking into a valley or something. So the guests have some kind of big overpass over the habitat and the arctic wolves can go underneath it through some kind of cave shelter area. And if the guests walk further, they have this round viewing platform that they can also use to look at the arctic wolf from a different angle. And uh, yeah, it's, it's also a very simple habitat, but yeah, well, again, like sometimes some habitats just are not super exciting in a zoo. So this one, I mostly had the, I'm not really sure if it's a, the Arctic wolf, but some kind of wolf area you have in Rotterdam Zoo. You also just have a very plain habitat with like those chain link fences. And I really do love the chain link fences in Planet Zoo. So I, I still am hoping that we will get some separate pieces of chain link fences, just like the plaster pieces in, in several sizes. So we can use them to create a aviaries and those kind of things so that will be super awesome oh and also i built a bridge at the american bison habits had uh, it's a more of a stone bridge i really wanted it to be a very uh, simple but heavy and, and strong bridge to go into the land of the cold area i might get back to it a little bit i'm not completely happy with like i think they are called the breeze stone walls or freezy stone walls something like that uh, but I'm not entirely happy with it, so I might get back to it to replace the bridge or just change a few elements of it. So I'm not really sure if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, with building the Arctic Wolf habitat, I, I at first, as I mentioned in the first polar bear habitat video, I was a little bit afraid that like the polar bear habitat looks very blocky and long and it didn't really feel natural if you just look at the boundaries of it like it's really it was really too much square-ish in a way and i was a little bit afraid for that but since i added the arctic wolf habitat you can tell that the area is really starting to feel more natural in a way because the arctic wolf habitat has more round fences so yeah, in general, I am super happy with how everything is starting to turn out. I already built a lake in front of the reptile house. I think when we finish up the land of the cold area, I'm going to start working on that. Maybe a little bit of a garden or anything like that. 
and also some beautiful bridges so yeah I think that's gonna be a very lovely area but obviously we're still continuing with the land of the cold area so we still have the reindeer habitat and the doll sheep coming up after this and also as I mentioned the snow leopard and maybe also the Japanese macaque so that is going to be exciting maybe I even still add the Siberian tiger I'm not really sure I, I have a white one and I think it's gonna be so pretty if I do that but I don't know there are so many things I want to do all at once so we can only do one thing at a time <laughs> so anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this American bison and Arctic wolf habitat definitely check out the polar bear habitat if you haven't seen it yet because I think it's really worth it I'm super proud of it so leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to support the channel a little bit extra you may want to consider to become a FAFA member with the link in the description thank you guys so much for watching I really hope to see you guys on the next one bye guys